Hey everybody, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I've got a little story for you today and I'm hoping that you stick around to watch. So last week, Courtney left for a couple days and it was up for me to take care of everything around the house. That sounds like a terrible decision when you say it out loud, honestly. Either way, uh, I stepped up to the plate. I had second thoughts about putting this video out. It's long, it's not our normal, but it's reality. You know, we're busy, we don't always have time to make great videos, but we try. This video I'm about to show you, I shot it all with my cell phone. Cause, why not? I didn't get all the things I was hoping to get, I just got what I got. My goal was to try and show you as much as I could in terms of the animals, maybe a little bit of the kids. Uh, I did my best, quite honestly, I wish I kind of had someone along to film the whole thing so you could see how things really get. I mean, trying to put the kids to bed every night, I didn't even film that. That's probably the worst part of the entire time. Uh, you know, because they don't go to bed. Ever. When I want them to. Either way, here you go. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day, folks. Courtney left town, has an interview, won't be home for a few days, so that means I'm on my own. So we're gonna go pick up Bridget, take care of some other stuff, get the kids to soccer practice, food, stuff, whatever, and then we be out. And then, try and take care of them animals, whatever, you know, just go wing it. You ready to go? Oh, goodness. Did you see me coming? Hmm? You ready to go? Hey, over here. It is raining. Yep, hop up there. Hop up. Hmm? I don't have any snacks in there. But listen, can you get in there so I can buckle you up? It's kind of raining outside. It's okay, I'll just keep getting wet. Don't you worry about it. Take your time. You're getting wet. I don't even know if you can hear me that well because I'm shooting all of this with my cell phone and there is no mic on this phone other than the internal mic. You gotta hang that up for Dada? Hang that up for me. Good girl. Money Penny, what are you doing? Did you have a good day today? Do you want me to pet you? Huh? Do you want me to pet you? Okay. Yeah, just a good girl. Uh, yeah, I'll get you a snack. You just gotta relax. I think a lot of people wonder how we get it all done. And honestly, I don't really know. Uh, we just do. Uh, Courtney keeps adding more animals, so it takes longer. Um, so I'll do most of this until the end of the night. But that's okay. Sometimes if you got kids who like to do things on their own, are you getting a snack or a drink? Snack. A snack? Okay, keep going. I mean, that does kind of help the situation a little bit more. Did you finish your Nana? All good? How did you hear me? How was your day at school? Good. Yeah? Hang your book bag up. I didn't get purple, but I did color these in amazing pictures. You colored the what? Amazing pictures. Oh, well that's cool. Oh. Hey. Hey. How's school? Good. Great. Man of many words? What? Are you a man of many words? Huh? I see you wore your best outfit to school today. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. And you did your hair as well. What? Look at that hair. Wow. Uh-huh. Robbie, we don't have a whole lot of time. Thanks, dude. What are you doing? Just eating straight peanut butter? That's your snack? That's the largest spoon we own. No? We have bigger spoons? I believe you. You don't have to show me. Alright, so you got everything you need? Yeah. You gonna tie your shoes? Everybody in the car? Yep. Are we good? Ready yep. to go? Yep. Alright. Who's got the car keys? I know this is gonna be a surprise, but I do not have the car key. Good job, girls. Oh, 
What do you do when you finished early? What do you do when you're finished? And then Robbie's got stuff to do. We are home and we are gonna get everything ready to go outside with the animals. Um, as you can see, it's dark out, so we'll do our best here. It's gonna be dark. Try to get Robbie focused. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Robbie, we gotta get the goat's bottle, right? Yeah. Okay. Bunny, so the bunny needs pellets with the white bottle. Oh, I'm not doing that. Why? Uh, I'll do the chickens, you do the bunny. Sound good? What, can you not remember? No. No, mommy didn't write it down. Okay, I'll write down. No, I don't need you to write down. You do the goat, okay? okay. I'll take care of the chickens, you take care of the bunny. Okay, I'll do it for chickens. Goat, then, chickens, bunny. Yeah, I think they should be good on hay, and I think they're good on water. Yeah, well you can hop over and check if you want. Yeah. Alright, let's go to it. Trying to get some stuff done. As you can see, it is dark, but we're just trying to get it all done. Robbie's complaining about the light because it's so bright. We didn't know my phone had a light that would flash, although I can't see anything, so I'm not going to walk. Go like that. Okay. So this guy, he good. Those girls, they good. All right, Robbie, here we go. What do we got now? It's also why I beg for the flashlight. When I go get to get their feet high. You're spilling most of it on the ground, so it's all good. All right. You climb over, I'll hand you everything you need. Got it? It's 5.30 in the morning. It's about the time we go out and we take care of all of our chores. You uh, see in that window back there, it's still nighttime. And that is because I have to leave for work early and Courtney's got to take care of the kids usually, but now that she isn't, it's not here. Uh, and I gotta take care of the kids before school or before Nana gets here. Nana will take the kids to school, which is nice. Just wanna try and take care of these animals. We got one that is got a little bit of bloat, so I've been uh, nursing her for the last couple days trying to make sure she's okay. And I'll give her some baking soda. And we put some cord, this stuff, in the water just to be safe. Uh, I think she's okay, but I don't know, for now. I'm put some coffee in my water. Love this coffee maker. I'm gonna take care of the goats. Uh, as you can see, it's dark. You know, it's just a little misty out. It's not raining or nothing, but it's all good. So, it's actually kind of warm-ish for morning in April. Although it should be warmer, but whatever. Nobody's outside out here. Yeah. In case you're wondering, yes, I do use a Coke bottle with a nipple. Perfect size. Works every time. If I lose it, I just drink a Coke. Look at that tail gone. Look at that tail gone. What do you want? You got a mama. Your mama gives you milk. You're getting too big anyway. Look at this dude. Look at you. Yeah. It's meatloaf. Are you eating? Eating pretty good? Yeah? Everybody's resting? What are you doing? Having a good time? Uh, so we're gonna put the cord in here. This is my son. Always getting stuff in their water. Put 10 milliliters of that in there. So I'm at work and I just got word that there is going to be 25 to 35 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Needless to say, I'm a bit worried about the animals. I get out of here about 3.30, go pick up Bridget, should be home roughly around 4.15. Hoping that nothing's going crazy by then. I might have to move all the goats in the house. I mean, Courtney does it all the time, so it's really not that big of a deal. Although I don't know if I want eight goats in the house. Maybe the garage, but I'm going to have to move the motorcycle. 
not messing with my motorcycle or my table saw. One of the things I was worried about pretty much happened. You can see the tree behind me. The wind is so strong and the ground is so wet, it's literally just blowing trees over. Looks like those roots were fairly rotten. So while the tree was still alive, it was dying from the bottom up. We've got branches everywhere. We've got wood that we've been stacking up from other trees we just cut down. We got a lot of ash trees that we've uh, already had to take down. That one's gonna be coming down soon. Two fairly large ash trees that had to come down. Um, they just weren't doing well. Uh, they were dead, actually, from the um, emerald ash borer. Um, uh, I don't want it to fall on the goats, so we had to, we had to take action. Day three of my wife being gone and me taking care of all the animals and the kids. We had a little bit of a rough night last night with the wind. Uh, definitely caused some issues. Uh, we had that tree fall and um, trying to make sure that the, everybody made it through the night. Um, so I'm gonna go out there and make sure everybody's good. Massage Carly's uh, rumen, make sure that she, she's not got any bloat issues. She's been having some bloat, um, but everything's been fairly decent. Let the chickens out, make sure all the trees are still in the air. Take care of that, let's go. Can't really see me, but uh, still, still a little windy. It's just, sun's coming up. Uh, it's not as windy as it was last night, but it's certainly windy. It's not warm anymore. Yesterday was like 50 degrees. Today, it's not 50. Everybody looks safe. All the trees are up, at least on this end of things. All is good. The squirrels are crazy this morning. Woo! So are the birds. Just flew into me. The roosters are getting crazy, but everybody is safe back there, so that's good. Um, I don't know why they won't come out of the coop. This didn't make it. Plastic is destroyed. I mean, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. But that's okay. We can fix it later on when we get home from work tonight. All will be good. No big deal. I'm gonna go get, uh, I'm gonna go get some hay. Get inside, get ready for work. But uh, good news is, everybody's good this morning. Can't complain about that. Forgot to check for eggs last night. Let's see what we got. In case you're wondering if those laying boxes were working. Looks like they are. A little blue one. Here we go. Pretty sure the rest of them are over there. If you're wondering, my neighbor's fence didn't quite make it. Give you a sneak peek. It's no good. Looks to me like the roof of my kids' treehouse. The roof of my kids' treehouse didn't make it either. Um, but. Definitely don't see any other fallen trees, at least up this way, which is a really good thing. This is almost the end of day three of no Courtney, Kenny with all the kids and animals. Today was a great day at work. I got to spend uh, got to spend a special day with a kid that I used to coach. Uh, she came in to shadow me at my my job. Um, it was really cool. Loved it. Had a great time. Glad that she. Uh, Glad that she asked me to do that. I'm on my way to the school to pick up Robbie and Emerson. Then we'll get home, we'll get Robbie fed, uh, get him ready for soccer, go to soccer practice. I gotta get Emerson to soccer practice as well. Um, Bridget's at Nana's, which is nice. One less person we gotta figure out. Uh, and then uh, by the time we get home, 
that should be it. Courtney will be home. She's got great news uh, to share with the family, so we're excited about that. Uh, really proud of her. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. This has not been easy, uh, but it is what it is. This is kind of how this is life on Beagle Road. Uh, again, like I told you in the beginning, we we're busy, man. We don't have tons of time to always make perfect videos and I try to wait until I can but uh, as you can see this is this is kind of the reason why they're not always ready to go this is the ugly I uh, hope you would enjoy and here's to the next video that is uh, I guess a ball and masterpiece compared to this one thanks everybody have a great day Honestly, Kenny, it was three days. I told you life was easier with me than without me.